All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are we today? I got my coffee, Steve Legal Co. I'm um, going to be going over today what is responsive web design. So if you're not familiar with responsive web design, it's basically the ability to make your websites change for different um, platforms and different uh, screen sizes. Basically, you have three different types. You have your desktop, which you can see here is our desktop website. Then you have your tablet, which is going to be your tablet website, which this one actually sees the least amount of traffic. Um, and then you have your mobile, which is increasingly becoming the number one way for people to access websites. And what is happening these days is that if your website is not built for responsive, which means across all these platforms, you're not going to be able to succeed in 2020. It's as simple as that. Um, in fact, becoming mobile has actually become the number one way that people are accessing websites as well as web apps, but that's a little bit of a different feature as I'm sure you guys are aware. But um, as far as even accessing websites, the number one outlet right now is going to be mobile. So here at Final Web Design, a big thing that we do is that we continue to optimize for all different technologies. So whether you have an iPhone, whether you have an Android, whether you have a tablet that's a you know um, third party tablet, we optimize every single website that we build so that you're bringing these people to your website and they're able to use your website. What this also does is help with your SEO. So as far as Google sees, people are not bouncing because the website is more interactive for them. And it also keeps your conversions up because it's more easy for them to access your website. It's a more professional look, a more professional feel, UI, UX, and what such. So guys, that's just kind of a real quick rundown on the different responsive outlets. I suggest you kind of take a look at your website and how it looks on different outlets if you have these technologies. You can also look at Google uh, Chrome tools and it'll show you how you look on different outlets. So if you have any questions, let us know, leave a comment, um, leave a like, that stuff does help as well. And we'll catch you in the next video with more tutorials on web design and web development. Take care guys, peace.